Hey everybody, it's the Nasser again. That's me, I'm waving at you. I booted up the Wii U so I can play uh, an old retro favorite of mine. Uh, I'm gonna play a lot of retro on this channel here. Mega Man is gonna get a lot of playthrough. Uh, when Super Mario Makers comes out, yeah, I'm gonna be dedicating a good portion of my life to that. I'm gonna play Punch Out along with a bunch of other classics, but today I wanna do something a little off the beaten path here, and I am gonna load it up a little super dodgeball for y'all here. On the uh, NES, this classic, not one of the most in-depth games, not the most challenging thing in the world to know here, um, but this is one of those games you can pick up, and you know what, let me go ahead, I'm actually going to go ahead and reset this here. <laughs> Alright, so this is the, uh, the option menu here, uh, of course we have the, uh, it's, it's not the world's best soundtrack, there are points where it's bad, but there are some classics in here. I'll make sure to highlight those. This is definitely not one of my favorites. It's a little annoying, and it can go on forever. Um, so as you can see here, we have three game modes. We have world mode, uh, which is what we're going to play through here. Um, one player. And then we have versus play, which is two players based off the same rules of world mode. So you can play with a buddy. And then you have beanball, which is a free-for-all mode. You can play against a CPU or against a friend. Three difficulties, easy, normal, and difficult. We're going to start off with normal today. I'll do difficult in the future for sure, uh, but maybe with some other stipulations. I have cool ideas. I think you guys will enjoy it. So for me, this is a game I remember from my childhood as one of those I would rent. Um, and I remember renting this from Kroger's, which is a grocery chain. Most of you might be familiar with it. Really big in the, uh, the Midwest um, but back in the day, Kroger at the, at the pharmacy, you could rent games from them. Um, and it wasn't like a blockbuster where all the games were laid out. You would just go to the pharmacy and be like, hey, what games do you have? And I would get Mega Man a lot. Um, and Dodgeball is one I would pick up when I was sick and just needed something fun that I didn't need to, uh, keep renting in order to, to beat. This is something you can beat within an hour, but it's still a lot of fun. Not much of a story other than you are the United States team and you want to win the world championship. And uh, I think it's ready for us to go ahead and win this world championship. So I'm going to boot up uh, world mode in normal. So if you hit select, you can get to uh, see the stats of your characters here. So a little pro tip for anyone who wants to pick this up here. Uh, so energy, the amount of life they have, their ball power throw technique, their break ability, catch technique, and their damage here. Uh, I'm not too like religious on the stats. Uh, I will always play a Sam. Sam is the captain of the team. The rest of the guys I'm going to pick at random, and you'll see that in a little bit here. But as you can see here, each of our guys does have a name and their own stat lines here. And I did a little digging. I was able to find some information on these guys here. So let's go ahead, meet our players, your team, Team USA. And it all starts off with the captain, Sam Powers, 31 years old from Midland, Texas, all state and high school, all American in college at the University of Texas. He was a Longhorn and five time National Super Dodge Ball Association MVP with the Las Vegas Leg Breakers. All of his accomplishments don't take away from the pain of killing his own father, Jordan Powers, on that faithful Christmas Eve night. Sam Powers looks to lead the USA squad to the world championship while conquering his cocaine addiction. Can he do it, ladies and gentlemen? Next, we have John Stone, 26 years old, from Hollywood, Florida. This sex symbol has made a name for himself on and off the court. His thunderous plays are only outmatched by his high-production cocaine-fueled sex tape. And this is back before digital, so you need like a crew of seven people to shoot good porn back then and it was breathtaking porn. Can he keep it in his pants and keep the coke out of his nose long enough to show the world that he's more than an international playboy? Can he? We'll see. Next we have Mike, not, not, not Fleur, not Feller, not, uh, we have Mike, 29 years old from Sandusky, Ohio. He's a dick that no one likes. He once punched an old woman for the thrill and because he was high on cocaine. He has a hard last name to pronounce, but he throws an even harder ball. Next, we got Randy, the Stinger, Sting, 36 years old from Cheyenne, Wyoming. 
the old man on the team. He has played on six national teams and has never won it all. Came close once. He was one throw away from winning it all, but after the worst throw of his life, he was hit and he went down. Fueled by the need to prove himself and the tons of coke he does with the rest of the team, he won't retire until he wins it all. Next is Bill Flash, 23, from Portland, Oregon, the youngster on the team. Little is known about him, as he's just made it into the National Super Dodgeball Association spotlight. Never playing the game before at any other level, he was actually discovered at an all-night coke party thrown by the com commissioner of the NSDBA, Gregory Osiris. Commish Greg gave him a shot, and Bill hasn't looked back. Finally, we have Steve Sato, 26 years old, from Ann Arbor, Michigan, the University of Michigan product himself. One of the greatest college players of all time, he battled his addiction after graduating. He won that battle, but he never played in the pros again. Until quickly realizing his coke addiction was the one thing that gave him his super dodgeball strength. He picked up that addiction, and he made this year's squad. This is a team that will not stop. A team that wants it all. A team playing in the 80s where everyone is doing a shit ton of coke. They will do whatever it takes to win the world championship, including more cocaine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Super Dodgeball. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go play one round. We'll call it quits here. Uh, I'll do more videos. So by the end of the night, uh, I'm going to have this game beat. So we can see our Team USA squad here, all coke heads. Look at them. They're all high right now. John's a little paranoid, but he's kind of the dark boy on this team. Always looking for his next lay. It's like again, so we're this, these are the guys we're playing here. Um, yeah. So this is the first elimination round. We're playing the all-stars of the NSDBA here. So one cool thing about this game is you can change the different positions that everyone has on the team. Uh, typically, Sam, John, and Mike are your one spots. Now, the one spot, these are your attackers. These are the guys who are going to make or break it for you. 2-3-4 are your defenders who play on the opponent's attack side. Ball goes out of bounds, they catch it. They can try to attack. Uh, they have less uh, moves. They can really just throw it or pass it. You'll see that there's some special moves in the game that you want to try to conquer as quickly as possible to get going here. Um, so I'm going to change positions. So typically what you're going to see is that. I went a little quick, but it's just straight down the line. So our first match takes place on top of a skyscraper in New York City. A poorly represented American flag painted on on our on our ground. The Statue of Liberty overlooks us, wondering who will win. Who gets to represent me in the world championships? Uh, so some basic controls. You move around with the D-pad. A is your uh, pass button. I can pass it to another teammate of mine. B is what I throw with. Uh, I'm going to do that right now. We'll just see that in a second. If I double, if I double tap in the direction, I can run. There we go. There we go. Yeah, for, for row, row. The number of the number represents the damage, damage you do. Now if you saw, you saw. Oh, oh, that was that was a good, 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 good power. I blocked it. Really, really, really hit right here. Uh, so I gotta watch out. Watch out. Just took some damage. Some damage. John's got the ball here, so I got so I got a couple of the power moves. Didn't pull it off there. But you can also do jump throws. I'm doing a poor job of catching the ball here. That's it. That's, That's why Sam's, Sam's the best. Sam's so, if you're new to this game and you just want an easy strategy, give the ball to Sam. His move does a lot of damage. It continues on until it's caught or uh, uh, makes it all the way to the back wall here. So, once, so unlike normal dodgeball where one hit you're out, this keeps going until you knock out the opponent's health and they die. Where you then cheer on your victory... Your lives are set, and the opponent cries. No time to waste. We immediately move on to round two, where we're going to play England in good old London. I'm going to call it here for this video, but please keep watching more dodgeball. We're going to make it all the way through this game, and you're going to want to see the exciting conclusion. Until next time, deuces.